Hydrogen, a rising clean energy star, highlighted in this hybrid bus at June's World Hydrogen Energy Conference in Rio de Janeiro. It is 100% Brazilian technology and consumes half as much hydrogen as similar vehicles from around the world. Professor Paulo Emilio de Miranda, this year's conference chairman, coordinated the bus project, boasting of its three different power sources. One source is that the vehicle um, is a plug-in type vehicle. In addition to that, the vehicle has um, fuel cell and hydrogen on board. And also, every time the vehicle breaks, kinetic energy is transformed into electric energy and utilized on board. And potential applications don't stop at public transportation. Advances in hydrogen fuel cells and related technology from around the world are featured at the trade fair. Government representatives drew large audiences. China Energy President Wang Ling unveiled China's particularly ambitious multi-layered hydrogen plants for the future. By 2020, at least 1,000 to 5,000 fuel cell cars will uh, put into operation. And by the year 2030, we predict at least 1 million vehicles will in operation. This conference has been running since 1976, long before the science of climate change became a global concern. Hydrogen is in fact the most abundant element in the universe. As a gas, its energy potential is unlimited. But experts here say extracting it has been expensive and not always sustainable. Now that seems no longer to be the case. This French geologist set the conference abuzz with his claims of a breakthrough. We have discovered that natural hydrogen does exist on Earth, that it does exist in large amounts, and its um, exploitation is very easy. It is shallow, it is cheap to exploit, and it gives a clean source of energy that we can use directly without any preparation before. And releases no pollutant. Hydrogen has grown to be an important part of the global energy mix, and the pace is only expected to accelerate ahead of the next conference, set to take place in Copenhagen in 2020. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.